Hi, and welcome to Beetle Dave's Beatles channel. Today's video is a 55th anniversary of the Beatles single, Lady Madonna. So come and join me. So hello there and welcome one and all again to Beatle Days Beatles channel. Hope I find all you fantastic Beatles people doing really well out there and thank you so much for joining me. So today's extra midweek video is a 55th anniversary look at all the variations I've got relating to the Beatles first single of 1968 which is of course Lady Madonna and it was also the final UK 45 on the Parlophone label. And what a fabulous single it really is, Vintage McCartney playing an absolutely great piano lick with an equally impressive bass line, backed up by some fabulous drums by Mr Ringo Starr and great guitars from John and George, not forgetting of course Ronnie Scott's fabulous sax and All Under Three Minutes, what's there not to like. So that's going to be coming up very very soon, but we're going to be jumping straight ahead to... So yes, we're straight on to those fabulous old shout outs. And it's a great big Beetle Dave hello to Antonio Gonzalez, Manolo Conosco, DJ Reed, Voodoo Hammer, James Gordon, how you doing James? Nick Elias, Beetle Brad, my mate from across the pond, how you doing Brad? And Dave Eaglestone. So that's a big hi to you guys from yours truly, Beetle Dave. So on to the main event then today, and it's a 55th anniversary special of the Beatles single, Lady Madonna. So please, come and join me. The Beatles' 17th single, Lady Madonna, was released in the UK on the 15th of March 1968, and was the final Beatles single released on the Parlophone Records label. The song was a return to a more standard form of songwriting after the previous year of psychedelic productions and also had a much more back to basics approach. McCartney based his boogie woogie piano style on a jazz song called Bad Penny Blues which had actually been released on the Parlophone label back in 1956 by Humphrey Littleton. Being inspired by a magazine picture called Mountain Madonna, Paul also stated in a later article that Lady Madonna started off as the Virgin Mary, then it was a working class woman of which obviously there's millions in Liverpool. Recorded at Abbey Road before the Beatles went to India, sessions were held on the 3rd and the 6th of February with Paul using the Mrs Mills Steinway Vertigrand upright piano and Ringo supplying brushes on his snare. George and John then added distorted lead guitars at the same time through one amplifier, while McCartney added his bass line as well as Ringo adding more drums before Paul's Presley-esque vocal. With Lennon, McCartney and Harrison adding backing vocals and at one point imitating brass instruments, the four-part horn section and saxophone by Ronnie Scott was also overdubbed on the 6th of February. George's first B-side, The Inner Light, was written about his recent experiences with transcendental meditation. With the basic instrumental track recorded in Bombay during the Wonderwall sessions, it was then back at Abbey Road while during the Lady Madonna sessions when George added his lead vocal as well as John and Paul's backing vocals. It was just after these sessions that promotional films for Lady Madonna were made, but rather than waste time and mime to the track, the Beatles used the time to record a new song, Hey Bulldog, which was the fourth and final song supplied to United Artists for the film Yellow Submarine. With Lady Madonna hitting the UK record retailer top spot for two weeks, it only managed to reach number four on the USA Billboard charts, but did manage a slightly higher placement of number two on the Cashbox Top 100. So let's take a look. So here it is then, the Beatles single Lady Madonna. This is the UK first Parlophone pressing, which was released on the 15th of March 1968. Catalogue number... R5675. So what a great single then. Lady Madonna really is. 
And actually this polyphone bag is probably not the original one, although I've had it in that bag. It's been in there for many, many years since I got it, so it could be, it's quite possible. So of course this is a slightly earlier polyphone bag, but you've got the polyphone and the EMI details there on the bottom, polyphone across the top and the wavy, wavy sort of sleeve at the top as well. On the back there you've got Emitech cleaning materials, record tokens, and of course you've got the record mail details with the polyphone logo, EMI Records Limited, Hayes Middlesex at 45 RPM. Just played this single actually, and it did actually sound phenomenal. It sounded really brilliant. This is the Dink Center variety, which you got at the time, as well as a solid center, which we'll come to in a moment. Of course, you've got the gramophone company around the perimeter in there with the parlophone logo at the top. And of course, on the left there, we've got the Northern Songs NCB with the P1968. And on the right there, you've got the 45 RPM and the catalog number with the all important sold in UK details in the center with Lady Madonna written by Lennon McCartney, the Beatles and produced by George Martin with the Made in Great Britain right at the bottom there. Super single, really beautiful, nice condition. And of course on the B side, a great song from George, The Inner Light, done during the Wonderwall sessions. Once again there you've got the gramophone company around the perimeter there with the Northern Songs details and P1968 with the parlophone logo at the top and the 45 RPM and the catalogue number on the right with the sold in UK details again there in the middle and of course the Inner Light written by George Harrison with the Beatles and produced by George Martin made in Great Britain. Fantastic sounding single this one. So on to another first pressing then of Lady Madonna, first released by Parlophone on the 15th of March 1968, catalogue number R5675. So once again we've got a fabulous looking sleeve here, of course we've got a solid centre, Lady Madonna here, Parlophone at the top there on this particular sleeve with some circles around the actual label, and bottom left we've got Parlophone and the EMI details. On the back then we've got some advertisements for some albums you could have got at the time, Including, of course, Sgt. Pepper, Shades of Deep Purple, The Goons, The Hollies, Scylla Black. Some great stuff there. Of course, at the bottom there, you've got EMI Records, The Gramophone Company Limited, Hayes Middlesex, England. And once again, this single's in absolutely beautiful shape. Really in fantastic condition. So, of course, you've got The Gramophone Company around the perimeter rim there, with the Parlophone trademark details and logo at the top there, with Northern Songs NCB and P1968. With on the right there you've got the 45 RPM and the catalogue number with the all important sold in UK details in the centre there. So you've got Lady Madonna written by Lennon McCartney, The Beatles and produced by George Martin with Made in Great Britain. So flipping that over then to the fabulous B side of the inner light. Once again there you've got the gramophone company on the perimeter rim with the Northern Songs NCB and the P1968 with the trademark and parlophone at the top there, 45 RPM and the catalogue number. So of course at the bottom there we've got the Inner Light by George Harrison with the Beatles and produced by George Martin with Made in Great Britain. And once again this particular single sounds absolutely awesome. Fantastic stuff. So on to a USA edition then from the early 1970s on Apple Records catalogue number 2138. So this copy is in absolutely perfect mint condition, it's in really beautiful shape, it's a lovely apple sleeve that one. On the back there as well, looks really great, you've got it printed in the USA there, bottom right. The actual single itself is in absolutely beautiful condition, once again this plays in really nice mono, just like the previous two singles of course, the UK ones. So you've got the Beatles there, Lady Madonna at the bottom, with Lennon McCartney, and of course manufactured by Apple Records Inc, right at the bottom there. With on the right hand side you've got the McLean Music Limited and the timing of the song with the catalogue number and produced by George Martin. So flipping that over then to the half side, you've got the Inner Light written by George Harrison with the Beatles and of course the Apple Records Inc at the bottom there manufactured by. And top right then we've got the McLean Music details again with the timing of the song and the catalogue number and of course produced by George Martin. Absolutely superb. I love collecting these Apple records from the early 1970s. Really great.
So on to the third UK pressing of Lady Madonna. This was part of the original Green Box singles collection and then later the Black Box, released on the 6th of March 1976, with this singles catalogue number being R5675. So on to the fabulous picture sleeve then. Obviously you could have got these within the box set and you could have bought these singles separately as well at the time. But you got these in the original Green Box set which came out first before the Black Box edition. So you've got the Beatles there, of course, the singles collection, 1962 to 1970, with the catalogue number on the right. And of course, at the top there, you've got the trademark, Parlophone and Apple logos. And at the bottom there, Lady Madonna, coupled with the Inner Light. And of course, at the bottom, you've got EMI, EMI Records Limited, Hayes Middlesex, England. On the back there, you've got obviously a shot from the guys doing the Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields promo then. And at the top there, of course, you've got Lady Madonna, coupled with the inner light. Let's take a look at the actual single then. And of course this is the mono mix once again. And on here you've actually got on around the perimeter you've got the Made in Great Britain on the right at the end of the perimeter there. But then you've got the Parlophone logo at the top with the Northern Songs NCB and P1968 on the left. With on the right there you've got the 45 RPM with Lady Madonna written by Lennon McCartney, The Beatles and produced by George Martin with the EMI box logo right at the bottom. So flipping that over then, once again you've got that Made in Great Britain on the perimeter text with the trademark Parlophone logo at the top and the Northern Thongs. So once again you've got the Made in Great Britain on the perimeter text there with the trademark Parlophone details at the top with the Northern Songs details and the P1968 on the left with 45 RPM and of course the catalogue number to the right there. With the inner light there written by George Harrison, The Beatles, Produced by George Martin, with once again that EMI box logo. And this single sounds really fabulous as well, just as good as the original. So on to another USA edition then, from the early 1980s, and we've got the Purple Capital label here on this particular edition, with the catalogue number being 2138. So another fabulous USA edition then, on Capital this time. Got a great looking sleeve there, really nice looking sleeve, in absolutely fabulous condition. So let's take a look at the actual single then. Of course, once again, this plays in mono both sides. So you've got the Capital Trademark logo at the top there, of course. With on the left hand side, you've got the catalogue number. On the right, the McLean details with the timing and of course produced by George Martin. With at the bottom there, Lady Madonna, Lennon McCartney and the Beatles. I'm going to flip that over then to the B side. Of course, once again, you've got the Capital Dome trademark details at the top there. With on the left, the catalogue number. And on the right, McLean Music Limited, with the timing and produced by George Martin. With at the bottom, the inner light, written by George Harrison, with the Beatles right at the bottom. Really collectible singles, these ones now, and of course, they're over 40 years old. Quite amazing. So on to the fourth UK pressing of Lady Madonna, released as part of the Blue Singles Collection box set on the 6th of December 1982, and this single's catalogue number is R5675. So of course, what an absolutely fabulous picture of the guys here. Obviously it's the correct period from 1968. So you've got the Beatles there, Lady Madonna, with a great picture of the guys. Really good picture. And on the back, once again, you've got Lady Madonna, Lennon McCartney there with the inner light, Written by George Harrison, with the same picture on the back there, slightly smaller, with the Parlophone and EMI trademark details at the bottom, and of course that Apple logo bottom right as well. Take a look at the actual vinyl then. On the perimeter on this particular edition, you've got manufactured in the UK by EMI Records, right at the end of the perimeter writing there. So you've got the trademark Parlophone details at the top, with Northern Songs on the left with the P1968, and on the right there you've got the 45 RPM with a catalogue number. And of course you've got Lady Madonna, Lennon McCartney, performed by the Beatles. And of course produced by George Martin with that EMI box logo there. So flipping that over then, once again you've got manufactured in the UK by EMI Records on the perimeter rim there. With the trademark polyphone details at the top and the Northern Songs and P1968 to the left with the 45 RPM and catalogue number on the right there. With the Inner Light written by George Harrison, performed by the Beatles and produced by the big George Martin, with that EMI logo at the bottom. Fabulous stuff. 
So on to the UK 20th anniversary picture disc of Lady Madonna. This was released nearly exactly 20 years to the day on the 14th of March 1988. Catalogue number RP5675. So onto the actual picture disc itself. And of course originally you would have had a plastic sleeve with your picture discs. But not a good idea to store them in those PVC sleeves because they ruin your vinyl. So keep PVC well away from your vinyl guys. So you've got the Beatles there, Lady Madonna, with the catalogue number, and of course, once again, that fabulous picture of the guys there from 1968. Then on the reverse, a very happy, smiling bunch of Beatles there on the right. So at the top there, you've got the catalogue number with the Beatles, Lady Madonna, and the Inner Light, with the Parlophone logo there on the left, and of course, some promotional paragraph there about a new rock and roll combo from Hamburg, of course. And at the bottom they got produced by George Martin and of course 1988 EMI Records Limited and 1968. Of course these picture discs are really collectible nowadays. This one plays in mono as well. So on to the UK 3 inch CD single then which was released as part of the Beatles 3 inch CD singles collection box set. And this was released on the 5th of June 1989. Catalogue number CD3R5675. So these are great, these little 3-inch CDs with a little gatefold. Really fantastic, nice quality. Slightly shiny there, looks really brilliant. Nice to collect these, but it's also great to have the complete box. So on the back there, of course, we've got the barcode with the catalogue number. You've got the Beatles, Lady Madonna, and of course the Inner Light. With on the top right, you've got Mono. And at the bottom there, you've got the Produced by George Martin, and of course the Parlophone and EMI logos. Really difficult to see some of that text, it's so small. But the great thing about these is that you've got a wonderful little gatefold there. You've got that fabulous picture with the guys, really happy on the left. With the Beatles, Lady Madonna, of course, the inner light as well. And the actual single itself on the right. Fabulous little things to collect. So on to the UK cassette single then of Lady Madonna. This is part of the Beatles cassette singles collection released on the 12th of August 1991 with this particular cassette having the catalogue number of TCR5675. Once again, these are fabulous to collect. Really great little things to have. So you've got the Beatles Lady Madonna there with the same picture. Then on the back, of course you've got the Beatles Lady Madonna and the Inner Light produced by George Martin with the barcode at the bottom and the catalogue number, with the Parlophone logo and the Apple logo as well at the bottom. And then on the side there we've got the Beatles, Lady Madonna, and of course you've got the chrome details and that catalogue number at the top of the spine. So let's take a look at the actual cassette then. Of course there you've got the Beatles, Lady Madonna and the Inner Light, with the Parlophone logo on the right, and on the left there you've got the catalogue number, with the EMI records details on the left. And on the other side then, of course exactly the same details with the track listings, parlophone details and the copyright information from EMI on the left. Fabulous stuff. So on to the UK 5 inch CD single then of Lady Madonna. This was part of the Beatles CD singles collection box set which was released on the 2nd of November 1992. So let's take a look at the actual sleeve first then. Of course, we've got the Beatles there with Lady Madonna. You've got that same photo. Great picture of the guys. Then on the back there, you've got the Beatles with the barcode and everything on the right-hand side and EMI details. With Lady Madonna, written by Lennon McCartney and, of course, published by Northern Songs. And The Inner Light, written by George, and once again, published by Northern Songs. We're produced by George Martin. Bottom left, you've got the Apple logo and, of course, the Parlophone logo, bottom right. So let's take a look at the actual disc then. Of course, these were silk screened. These particular CDs look really superb. Both songs play in mono. So you've got the Beatles there, Lady Madonna and the Inner Light with the catalogue number on the left hand side. But that looks really fabulous. So the final single then of Lady Madonna I've got to show today then is the sixth pressing from the Beatles Singles Collection box set released on the 22nd of November 2019 with the individual catalogue number of OR1902. So clearly then we've got a Japanese looking gatefold sleeve here. You've got a picture of the guys from around about 1967, around right about the Penny Lane Strawberry Fields time. So this was released by Odeon originally. Of course you've got the Beatles at the bottom there 
with also Lady Madonna and the inner light just above Paul and George's head. So let's flip that over then. On the back there you've just got the Odeon details, made in Japan. And then on the spine, you've got some more Japanese writing. Then we're going to open that up then. And obviously you've got the lyrics of the songs there on the right hand side. Plenty more Japanese writing to the left. So we've got the polyline dinner there of course. And we've got the black Odeon label. The catalogue number on the right hand side. And at the bottom there you've got Lady Madonna, written by Lennon McCartney, performed by the Beatles. Sounds great this single as well, just played this one recently. Once again there you've got the Odeon at the top there, details, with the catalogue number on the right. And of course we've got the Inner Light, written by George Harrison, and performed by the Beatles. Super stuff. So thank you all for tuning in today guys and joining me and I really hope you've enjoyed this extra 55th anniversary presentation look at the Beatles single Lady Madonna. And don't forget as always I appreciate any comments or communication I get from any of you Beatles people and I'll always come back to you just as soon as I can. So anyway as always if you enjoy what I'm doing why not give us a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beatle Dave signing off. Hey!